Hi, I'm Mike Champo. Welcome to this segment of Training Minutes. Today we're going to go over some more tower ladder operations, primarily cutting out of the bucket. When we talk about these things, okay? One, cutting out of the bucket. We could actually kneel in the bucket and cut while the boom operator is retracting the bucket. We could use that in slippery conditions, ice and snow. Another way to cut out of the bucket means we have one foot out, one foot in. We're gonna show you the safety belts. We'll use the safety belt and step halfway out of the bucket and we'll be able to cut. Another way, a third option, maybe we could use the bucket as a substantial object. We'll put the bucket down on the roof, we could have our safety belt on and we can operate in the front of the bucket and cut backwards and that will keep us from sliding down a high pitched roof. In an earlier taping of training minutes, we went over simple saw starting. That's where the operator's gonna use his knee and kneel down in the housing and start the saw. It's real good in a tower ladder bucket, right? We don't wanna be up in the air starting this saw with an operator near us. We have tight quarters. Five Air can simply kneel down in the saw and they can start the saw safely and operate. Remember, when we get in a tower ladder bucket, we always want to get our safety belt on. Use the safety belt that's in the apparatus. It's real good to have retractable ones. A quick little tactical tip, especially if you have seatbelt style safety straps. Rotate your belt around or pull out your D-ring and what you can do is you can come right through and clip on. What this does, it gives you more room to operate off the roof. You're secure. You're not going to go anywhere. God forbid we have a roof collapse, you're still secure to the bucket. With our safety belt, if you don't have a ring on it, if you're worried about the closing device, you can also go through your belt and re-clip, right? One way to do is step off the bucket, always sound the roof with your tool, with your body, before we put our whole weight on it, right? And we can cut with one foot in the bucket, one foot out of the bucket, we can cut. We can also cut across our vertical cut. We can even transfer to the other side of the bucket. If you don't have enough reach, will come completely out of the bucket and we're going to use our bucket as a support device and we can perform our cuts any way we want on this roof. We won't slide off, especially snow and ice or rain. The bucket will be our safety valve. There's one more situation here. High, high pitch roof, third floor, Victorian, you have heavy fire conditions. They're having a tough time getting up in the attic. You may have to vent. There is a way for a firefighter to kneel in the bucket and have the operator cut and retract as we're operating. I know it seems not a normal procedure, but it's one thing you're going to have to learn if you're operating from a tower ladder. I'm Mike Champo. Thanks for watching this segment of Training Minutes. Stay safe.